Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My brothers and sisters and friends, this is another day of daily prayer. And I'm so glad that you could be with me again today as we break into the word of God. Break bread. Hallelujah. And then go before the throne of glory, giving God praise for your needs today. And my goodness, isn't today a wonderful day? This is the day that the Lord has made. Come on. Hallelujah. I want you to remember that. And while you're doing that, I want you to also get your Bibles as you rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah. We rejoice in his word and turn over to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Thank you, Lord. Verse 13. Hallelujah. And and uh, as you are doing that, if you are joining us because you just like to study the word of God, but you don't know Jesus, you've not. And what I mean is that not know of Jesus. I mean, know Jesus. There's a lot of people that know about Jesus, but they don't serve him. But you must know Jesus. Then I want you to hang out with us because I'm going to introduce you to the Son of God. We're going to make that wonderful introduction and give you an opportunity to receive him as your Lord and Savior and experience this joy that we have each and every second of our lives because of our king. Yes, yes, my friend, there is a kingdom that shall, where there shall be no end, and that is the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, Second uh, Thessalonians chapter 2, it says, but we... 13, but we are bound to give you thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God has from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. Hallelujah. Now, I just want to, I, I actually want to read the rest of this, but I want to stop there because here Paul is encouraging the believers where it comes to the last days because every passage be, before this is an indication of the last days and the signs of what we are going to see. Um, that indicate that we are in the last days. But he here says that from the beginning, you, he's talking about you, my brothers and sisters, that he has chosen you. You have been chosen. If you've received Jesus, you have been chosen. Hallelujah. Chosen you to salvation. You've received Jesus and you've been chosen to salvation. And then he says through sanctification. What does sanctification mean? It means to be set apart. You have been set apart by the Lord. You have been set apart to be and you are being sanctified. Of the through sanctification through the spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. Where you see that capital S. It says the Holy Spirit. And belief of the truth. What's the truth? The word of God. Hallelujah. You've received Jesus. And now you are in the process. Of being sanctified. You all sanctified also means. That you are being not only just set apart. But a part of that also is being cleansed. You're being. You're being. You're being purged. You're being refined. You are being fine tuned. You are being prepared. By it says through the spirit. Through that is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was the one who led Jesus out to the wilderness after he got baptized. Hallelujah. 
So the Holy Spirit is sanctifying you. He is leading you places. He is bringing you through that process. So sanctification means set apart. And the Holy Spirit is setting you apart. And not only this, but he is also, he is, uh, and also, but this is belief of the truth. Your belief and faith in the word of God. Hallelujah. And then I want to read, I want to kind of stay on that belief of the truth or belief of the word of God. Because in verse 15, it says, therefore, brethren, stand fast. What does that mean? Stand and having done all to continue to stand unshakable, unmovable. Don't be moved off of the truth, off of this, the word of God, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Your, your, listen, let me, let me finish reading. It says, therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold through to traditions which you have been taught, whether by word or our epistle. Hallelujah. Stand on the word. Don't be moved off of some new doctrine. Hallelujah. That that is not the doctrine of the word of God, the doctrine of Christ, the the word of God. Hallelujah. Don't be shaken. Don't be moved. Stay on the word. You have been chosen. You have been chosen for this walk. You have been chosen for this time. You have been chosen to be sanctified by the spirit and, and belief of the truth. So don't be moved. In the passages before that, Paul was encouraging the believers in terms of, of the days, of the days that we that really is what we're living in. He says, he, he gives the indication, and I encourage you to read this entire chapter. But I want to come and encourage you today that you have been chosen for this day for salvation. Hallelujah. So don't be shaken. You are being set apart by the Holy, with the Holy Spirit. He is setting you, he's setting you apart. He's on the inside, and he is sanctifying you. He is setting you apart. He says, the setting apart and belief of the truth stand on the on the word of God amen and don't be moved I don't care what happens stand on God's word hallelujah now we're going to move right on into prayer come on set your hearts upon Jesus set your heart upon the Lord Come on, say. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Remeke, 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 Yeramoto, Ramoto, Ramakaha, Remeko Rama Yeramo Horabaha, Remeti Yerabata, Ramakaha, Ramakaha, Romokoho, speak to your people, Holy Spirit. Remekoho, Remeti Yeramaha, Ramakoho Yeramaha, Remeti Yerabata, Romoko Ramati Yeramaha, Ramakaha Yerabata Ramaho, Ramati Yerabaha. Fresh fire from heaven. Thank you, Father. You are an all-consuming fire. The Father wants to have his way in you today. Hallelujah. Let him have his way. Hallelujah. Romoko hoshete yaramaha. Romoko horeme yaramaha. Romoko hoshete ya. Romoko horamaka. Romoko horamaka. I decree over you today healing in your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. 
Deaf ears, I say, be open in the name of Jesus. Blind eyes, be open in the name of Jesus. Come on, saints. Come on. Come on. Press in. Father, we give everything over to you today. Jesus, we give everything over to you today. We surrender all, Father God, to you. We surrender. We surrender all to you, Father. The fire of God. Thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost and fire. Thank you, Lord. Baptize your people afresh today. Hallelujah. All the glory and the praise, Father God, in the name of Jesus, belongs to you. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I command every curse that's been spoken, every word from hell against anyone under the sound of my voice be broken in the name of Jesus. I condemn those words in the name of Jesus. I decree the precious blood of Jesus over each and every person right now under the sound of my voice. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I decree the protection, Psalm 91 over you. Thank you, Lord, that the angels of the Lord shall lift you up and bear, bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone, that you dwell under the shelter of the shadow of the almighty God, under his wings, hallelujah, under his wings, you shall trust no plague, no destruction, no sickness, no disease shall come near you, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I give you praise. I give you praise. Hallelujah. I give you praise. No pestilence that walks in darkness. No destruction. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I give you praise. No evil. Thank you, Lord. No plague shall come near your dwelling. I declare that today. Hallelujah. Hey, I decree God's precious blood, the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of God over you today in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, Father. We thank you. We thank you, Father. We glorify you. I speak to, I just rebuke every mind binding spirit, you lying devil from hell. I command you to come off of the minds of the people in Jesus' name. I decree, let this mind be in thee which is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Woo. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. 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 God is so good, my brothers and sisters. And if you're joining us and you don't know Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Say, dear God, I am a sinner and I want to receive Jesus. I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord. I ask you, Lord, to forgive me for all my sins. Forgive me, Lord. For every sin, I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen.
And Father, I just ask that you would fill each and every person who's just received you with the Holy Ghost and fire, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. And Lord, send them out to do the work of the Lord. Raise them up and send them out to do what you have ordained and called them to do in this season. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, if you just received Jesus, I want to congratulate you because there is a celebration over you today. And I celebrate you along with the angels of God. And now you must find a church home that is preaching the word of God. You can also send a message and I'll try my best to help you wherever area you're in. And then in Jesus name now. Then you want to let the pastor know that you've just received Jesus and now you want to get baptized and just let them know that. And, and again, just congratulations and just keep joining us here every day on daily prayer. And I just thank you all for joining, joining me. And I look forward to us breaking bread and praying in the name of Jesus on another day of daily prayer. You have a wonderful day in Jesus name. Bye bye.